Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. Let us understand our question. We have to accept two integers n and t from the user where n is the number of ice creams in the shop and t is the total amount of the boy has. So we have to accept the n integers which represent the prices of n ice creams and then we have to print the maximum count of ice creams bought by the boy. Now consider our test case. So here the number of ice creams is 5 and these are the prices and this 29 is the amount boy has. So first we should start with the least amount of the ice cream that is 4 and then 5 and so on so that he can buy the maximum count of ice creams so we will sort them 4 5 10 12 15 so here this is the sorted representation then after that we will initialize a variable called amount spent equal to 0 and count equal to 0 so first we will consider 4 so 4 is the amount spent for the first ice cream so 4 is lesser than equal to 29 so the count will be incremented by 1 so we have bought one ice cream then we have 5 so 4 plus 5 is 9 so the count will be incremented by 2 then we had 10 then it is 29 lesser than equal to 29 so the count will be incremented by 3 now we have 12 so 29 plus 12 is 41 which is not lesser than equal to 29 so count will not be incremented and 3 will be our output so we have bought only three ice creams now let us check for another test case here the sorted representation is four sorry three four six nine ten fifteen so the amount spent initially is 0 and the count is 0 so this 3 is lesser than equal to 60 right so count will be incremented by 1 then check for 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7 7 is lesser than equal to 60 so count will be 2 then for 6 7 plus 6 is 13 13 is less than equal to 60 so count will be 3 then for 9 13 plus 9 is 22 that is lesser than equal to 60 so count will be 4 then we have 10 it becomes 32 which is lesser than equal to 60 so the count will be 5 then we have 15 which is lesser than this gives 47 it is lesser than equal to 60 then the count is 6 so this will be our output now our key logic in stepwise is that the first we will sort the ice cream based on the price and then we will check the amount spent with t and increment the count accordingly let us implement our program first we'll get the two integers n and t then the price of ice creams then we'll initialize the amount spent and bought count as 0 and 0 then now we will sort them as per our logic 
so we have used the sort function so after sorting them we have to iterate the loop in order to get the prices of the ice cream then we have to increment the amount spent with the price then if the amount spent is lesser than or equal to t that is total amount we have to increment count by 1 yes we should use break and at last we are going to print the bot count so here it is bot count print a bot count uh using this break is not necessary but we are using it because it reduce the run time of the program now let us execute our program will give our test case so we have got 3 as our output which is correct the boy can have 3 ice creams then in second test case we have got 6 as our output which is correct because he has enough money to buy all the 6 ice creams hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you in next video